right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is nine years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, introducing the challenger, Prince. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of. 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? as we've ever seen in the UFC. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Watch knees to the body. Oh, oh. Nice strike. He didn't like that left hand. He's kind of hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Cable inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. Beautiful leg kick throw. Adesanya is circling to his right now. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination when you walk out to the entrance, when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Adesanya's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. And he switches to southpaw. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. Israel Adesanya's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Just missed with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Whiffs on that offering. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he landed the right hand there. Talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Great punch landed with so much power. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, look at the commitment of in this fight. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Another shot lands upstairs. Round two is next. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Oh, 
right, round two. That's a big strike right there. Ooh. Israel out of Sonny. I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. That is a stiff jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Left hand punches the win. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night in that land. Adesanya gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you want. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little move. Right or left. Get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here. Try to establish that jab. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Just missed with the elbow there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Punch over the top. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.